So ladies and gentlemen, finally the most awaited transit of Jupiter into the sign of Taurus has happened today. Today was that day. Aaj ka hi to wo din tha. <laughs> Where Jupiter has entered Taurus and here are 10 things you should do in the month of May. But before I get into this, I'm searching for something. I'm searching for those people those YouTubers, those bloggers, those astrologers, those relatives, those numerologists, those palmists who said 2024 is the year of Saturn and it's gonna go really slow. <laughs> I don't know if it's going slow for you, but for me it's going like it's going like a bullet train. It's like going at escape velocity. I I I can't even remember when it was January and one third Oops, one, yeah, one third of the year is over actually. Four months are over. But there's the month of May. Happy May Day and 10 things you may do in the month of May. <laughs> so the first thing that you need to do is you need to do this, brother. You need to do this. You need to consolidate your positions, not in stock market alone. <laughs> Which means... Now is the time that you gradually start to build on the things that you have already you had already started long time back. Okay. Now is not the time to rush. The energies of the month of May are quite intense with this Mars Rahu conjunction in the sign of Pisces. Not the most exciting time of the year, but a very important time. Because why? What is happening? I would say May is the most important month of this year because. There are three energies which are very prominent, the Piscean, the Aries and the Taurus energies. So now one says, uh, the Taurus energy says consolidate and then the Aries energy says start and the Pisces energy says leave it. Okay, the very interesting energies. But now because Jupiter's transit has happened and Jupiter is a very important planet because it's a very slow moving planet. So therefore, you need to learn to consolidate your positions. Okay, so if there is something which you have started recently, move and build it slowly. Take it slow. Don't rush. Number two, have new beginnings because Sun and uh, <clears throat> Sun and Venus are still in the sign of Aries, and they will move into Taurus gradually. But you need to have new beginnings also. Also, if Jupiter is entering your first house, you will you might have new beginnings. And if Jupiter is entering your 10th house, you may have new beginnings Okay, in your profession. So because Jupiter has entered a new house, so there will be new beginnings. But in general, Saturn and uh, Sun and Venus are in the sign of Aries, which is the sign of new beginnings. So along with consolidation, you may require to build or start something new in some area of life and don't shy away from it. Okay, so build along with consolidating start something new if required number three as i said the pisces energy leave things to god especially when exciting planets like mars rahu who are always ever excited to punch somebody in their face <laughs> when such planets are in the sign of pisces you need to understand that anytime you might have to surrender and if you don't surrender if you think that oh yeah you know i'll i'll I, 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 uh, <laughs> then the, now of course surrendering doesn't mean you just say Ram Bharose. like in India they say ah, Amara to Ram no it doesn't mean that it means you do your best but then you realize uh, there is destiny there is God and <laughs> so you, you 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 can't control everything so Learn to let go of things. Very important this month. It's required more than ever in the month of May. Okay. Number four, work on your thought process. Because uh, the Aries sign has the most important planet, that is the sun, and also moon will join. But you need to understand that the Aries, the sign of Aries is the first sign of the Kalpush Kuli. So it, it, it will tell you how you should visualize things, what should be your outlook in life. Okay. So, for example, uh, if certain things are uh, working for you, uh, and now you think you need different results, then you need you you need to do things differently. Okay, so try and recheck uh, why you are doing what you are doing. What's your vision in life? What is your aim? What's your goal? What do you wish to achieve in your life? Okay, so very important. The more you do this, the more you will 
see that your life is becoming more and more uh, better okay it's getting better every second and then comes number five which is you know from aries the sign of libra is getting the aspect so you need to do networking okay and also we know saturn is in the sign of aquarius he's still there right so uh, this is like saying the sign of libra is receiving the aspect of the sun and venus and also it's in trines to saturn so very 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 important position so therefore you might need to do networking and get out there and you know meet people and socialize and make new contacts you know not just for financial or for monetary gains but just just you know to to be happy and to experience yourself okay so don't don't forget that don't forget networking number 6 try to end things that are not working this is because the Pisces energy is going to hint you that, hey, this is not working. Maybe you need to stop doing it and start doing something else. And because the Aries energy is there, it can tell you, hey, yes, now this is what you should do. So utilize this position and don't waste time. Don't just think, oh, you know, it's like, you know, yeah, it's like, like, you know, you know, you know, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, uh, don't, don't, don't be in that position. You need to make a decision be brutal on yourself be hard on yourself be harsh be cruel on yourself <laughs> cruel in a good way not in a pessimistic way you know cruel means you know go to that the last extent that you can you know fight 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 for betterment because during these planetary transits i'm sure you will get a voice deep within yourself which will tell you hey you know you got to leave this okay but you're still not leaving it and by the way if uh, you are facing any of these then please write it down in the comments uh, what what are things that you among, among the 10 what are the things that you would like to do okay and if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe and if you like don't forget to hit the thumbs up it helps the algorithm and my channel <laughs> all right number seven extremely good time for creative self-expression that a lot of things in in the month of may which is resulting for this so basically if there are things which you feel is deep down inside of you which you want to explore but you never explored before so this is the perfect time so go around and uh, do things uh, that make you happy so it could be something very simple you know it could be giving some donation of money, of your time, of your efforts, you know, going to old age home, helping somebody, it could be anything, okay, it does not have to be, you know, singing, dancing, cooking, cleaning, jumping, sports, it does not, it does not have to be any of these, it could be something very simple, like reading a book, in a Friday evening, or a Saturday morning, or Sunday afternoon, it could be anything, so anything that helps you identify yourself, just do that, okay, Number eight, there has to be a healthy balance between authority and subordinate. This is because the Libra and Aquarius and Aries energies are very prominent, okay? So these are very contrarian energies, okay? They can be complementary, but they can be contradictory also. So therefore, if you have a position where you are an, an authority, as an authority, you need to understand that you cannot exploit your subordinates, okay? So, and if you are a subordinate, you cannot... Just not do the tasks that are given. So if you are a subordinate and you are being exploited, then please raise your voice. And as an authority, if you are seeing that your subordinates are not working as per your instructions, then you need to uh, make things more strict. Okay. Because what can happen is during this time, uh, there the balance can shift suddenly. Okay. So therefore, try to have the balance, although having balance is not very much possible in the material world always, but try your best, who knows, there could be massive gains, okay. Number nine, Ketu and Jupiter will now be in trines to each other, right? Jupiter is in Taurus now and Ketu is in the sign of Virgo, right? So Jupiter is aspecting Ketu, so it's a great time to begin your spiritual progress, great, great, great time, there is no... There has been no better time than this. So therefore, if you are facing that, if you're facing such a situation where you are losing uh, hope in life, you don't see any meaning behind things anymore. You know? Things are either good or bad, but you don't see there's any meaning behind all this. You know, 
So then maybe it's time you look up so that God is there. You can see him. All right. So therefore, you need to understand that spiritual growth will begin because whichever planet Jupiter aspect C expands. So Ketu is hardcore detachment and serious spiritual practices and Jupiter can be, you know, morality and religion and all this. Also spirituality and the knowledge that you get from the gurus. So if Jupiter aspects Ketu or is conjunct Ketu either ways, uh, it's a great time for uh, intellectual pursuits, uh, especially when it comes to spirituality. And uh, at the end, you need to understand that uh, things will move at their own pace. Okay, you cannot like, you cannot force things, but you can take the lessons from there and you can come out of it. Number 10, great time for research and development. So if there's anything in your life which you are very much interested in and you want to go deep into, then R&D is the time. You, you need to understand there are phenomenal energies. So like Jupiter has entered Taurus. Saturn is in the sign of Aquarius. From there, he's aspecting the sign of Leo. In the sign of Virgo, there is Ketu. So phenomenal time for R&D. So if you want to go deep into something into astrology or any other occult sciences perfect time there's no time which is better than a month of may of course the success successive months uh, are also better are also good in a in a, in a sense uh, but mm, now the thing starts so why not as why not move with it right as what do they say in hindi behti ganga mein nahana haat <laughs> dhona all right, so please let me know down in the comments which of the 10 you are planning to do, which you were planning before even seeing this video. That's where the magic is because that is how we know astrology works. Or if you're planning to do something else which I have not mentioned here, then also write it. All right. Thank you so much for consultations. You'll find my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you liked it. Why don't you put the thumbs up? Hit it now. Go and hit it.